Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Everybody's, I guess we're all shocked. Here's my question. Are the Vikings, we did this two weeks ago, and you, you okay. got mad at me for saying this, so, you know, pretender, contender, da, 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 you know, it's in that. Well, at least it's a quarter, or, yeah, a quarter of the season gonna, in and an eight. We're going to revisit a team that was on that list uh -huh. into now. Now, granted, that contender was more playoff contender. We're going we're gonna to go a, a notch higher now. The Vikings are 4-0. So not Houston only is it wins. But you're moving the goalpost. Got it. Are the Vikings now Super Bowl contenders? Which one you seen? Okay, and, and this is—I I don't mean to be quite this shitty about it, but like, define that a little better. Are we saying okay, make so again for the folks who don't know? For this is the podcast. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, break it down. When I say no, this is my this is how I measure Super Bowl contenders. Is do I envision X team? Say the Vikings, for example, for for the sake of argument. Do I see the Vikings playing any NFC title game this year? Okay, well, that's you not... You see it. Okay, so the, here's what I'm going to say. When I hear Super Bowl contender, I mean they go out on the biggest house party day of the year, only because 420 isn't officially documented, but whatever. <laughs> I like that. Um, the bit, you like that? The biggest... I, I love that. The house party, I'm sure you do, you fucking stoner. <laughs> 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 you know, see, you make me But I'm not, though. Stoner. I'm not a stoner. That's the, that's the joke. That's a joke. Yeah, you do edibles. You don't smoke. That's right. Yeah. So, you like, yeah. Anxiety, anxiety. I can't call you a fatty because then I'm hypocritical anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, being across from the AFC, AFC representative, how realistic do I think that is? And if I think it's realistic, then that's when I say contender. Okay. Here's the thing. In that conference, yeah, that's that's a garbage conference right now, AJ Christian. And can you say beyond a reasonable doubt that the Niners can stop them? No, the hell you can't. I know they were injured, but they got beat by the Vikings. Let's be clear. There's no real signs of consistent health coming for the 49ers. They are a little bit snake yep. this season. And guess what? So too are the damn Eagles who a lion's share of people out there in the world between those two teams have in the AFC Championship game. They might lose to Man Campbell, but hey, listen, it's a frisky situation, right? It's a divisional game, which I've been told time and again I need to watch out for, not only by you, but by myself. So, you know, all that to say, yeah, just because. Now, if it was something where they were in the AFC, Bishop Bullwinkle would be on line one. You don't know who Bishop Bullwinkle is? I, I know Bullwinkle. Hail to the no. To the oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. hell, yeah. no, no. You were allowed to, you were allowed to barbecue, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. But, Kyle, seriously, honestly, you, uh -huh. you, you took the words out of my mouth because I'm going to say yes because of the environment. If we're getting full-strength Eagles with no issues, internal issues, if we're getting full-strength Niners with no issues, with not, and no injuries, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a flat out no. I wouldn't even say that. I would say it's possible because maybe the Niners and Eagles could play some point play yeah. each other out, and then maybe the Lions eliminate somebody else. And but the right, he's a good pat, right? But the the benchmark in NFC has now dropped. The barometer is dropped now, even so lower. It, right. So now it's you see what the Vikings are doing right now currently. Obviously, oh Sam Donalds and that. But every top team we all consider coming to the year all have massive issues now. Cowboys, Eagles, Niners, you name it. I mean, Packers, I, I, I like what the Packers are doing, obviously. The I can see them in the game. are looking like a Super Bowl contender. Right. Yeah, the Detroit Lions, even though they're 3-1 and, and it looked okay last night, there's still things I'm concerned about with the Lions, too, also moving forward. And by the way, before you non-football knowers out there start blowing up the comments, oh, the Bucs aren't a good team. I'm not saying they're a good team. I'm saying the NFC is a bad conference. I mean, it's a real big difference. I mean, the Bucs are literally a quarter ranking one in the game last year. So this this the same team they have currently right now. So I, I can't say no anymore at this point. I can't say right now. I couldn't see it. Now, things can change in the, in month, the weeks to come. But the Niners' injuries now are – the latest news of Christian McCaffrey about his – his uh is now both knees, both Achilles now could be an issue. He has to go to Germany to get checked out. That that could be their season right there. Who knows? You know, so I gotta say yes. I gotta say yes. Sure. I, no, and, and and their defense is that good. Damn good. Let's put it that way. So um, well, actually, here's where I'm gonna push back. The Vikings' success is less on their defense and more on that offensive line. 
Well, there because you go. With that kind, of, this is I'm sure. No, I am no, I am. I can perfectly declare that of the teams for which Sam Darnold has started, mm -hmm. which does not include the 49ers, by the way, um, where he's played, this is the best protection he's gotten, period, point blank, end of story. Yeah. And I think that's a big oh, without question. Without question. And well, helps the argument too, also, they've beaten quality teams. Niners, a little banged up, but Niners. I, I, yeah, um, if, Texans. If, if they're called the team, why are they in fear of being dropped out of your friggin' top ten? And, and, and Packers. <laughs> so there you go. You got some stuff in the comments here, man. Let's call we that. Do. Oh, we, oh, we do. I'm sorry about that. Oh, oh is that my boy D. Will? It is D. Will. Yeah. Yes, he did. Kyle, you lost weight. I, I have. Um, I'm mostly keeping it off, but and uh, is Tank tanking over for Travis Etienne? Um, so no. I don't think so in the traditional sense, uh, but you will see more of Tank for one good reason and one reason alone uh, to D. Will and the rest of the world. He's holding on to the damn football. It's that simple. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like it's a fancy football football, football uh, question because uh, you know, yeah. D. Will is a fancy football like guru. Well, here's the thing. Um, they're going to keep splitting carries, right? This is why running back is challenging to account for in the fantasy space is because committee systems became a thing, right? Like the last, you know, not named Derrick Henry, right? You know, we're going back to the days of like the Rudy Johnsons and guys like that, where you mm -hmm. would draft them in your fantasy league and be all right. That's a Bengals running back for those of you, you know, that mommies and daddies used to have on their fantasy teams for those of you that don't know. <laughs> mommies and daddies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, we you know, dude. But that's that's the joke. That's joke. Okay, so, um, but if you're looking, yeah, if you're looking from that perspective, if listen, what you're doing, if you get Tank Bigsby, what you're doing is you're sacrificing reception capability for potential big play slash touchdown action, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you were hoping that they run Tank Bigsby in the red zone and short yardage to get a touchdown, you apparently haven't watched very much of the Jags and Terrier line. However, being uh being said, um he will get more catch touches. I think that's true. NTN may get fewer, but I, I think he's still the primary guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, Mikey B in there say he misses you. <laughs> oh, cheers to me, of course. All right.